Good day. This is Dr. Conrad Miller with your Fukushima update for April 2nd, 2011. I have two big things to tell you today. Number one, the contamination from Fukushima is already four times greater than the contamination from Chernobyl around the plants. And the second thing is that people are talking about Yucca Mountain reawakening the possibility of putting our nuclear waste there in Nevada. But that area and that mountain has 33 earthquake faults. So we'll see. Let's go back to that. OK, so Fukushima, the Inta International Atomic Energy Agency reports that on the ground out to 25 miles from the Fukushima plants, 2 million becquerels per square meter are deposited which compares to Chernobyl having 555,000 per square meter. There, it's 30 kilometers out in their exclusion zone, which is about 18.5 miles. So the big significance of that is this. We're going to extrapolate from this study. Martin Tondell in northern Sweden did a study 10 years after Chernobyl. And what he found was that for every 100,000 becquerels per square meter, there was an 11% increase in incidence of cancers. So we have 2 million becquerels per square meter on the ground, which is 20 times greater than 100,000. So you would expect 220% more cancers in that area around Fukushima, 25 miles out. And obviously, it's probably worse further out. Actually, the IAEA also reported that it's up to 900,000 becquerels out to 78 kilometers, which is about 50 miles. So people should be getting out of there. They shouldn't have been staying in their houses and all that other stuff that the Japanese people had to suffer through and listen to. And now who knows what's going to happen to those people. We know from the studies by Yablakov published in the New York Academy of Sciences uh, last year, I believe it was, that almost a million people now have died prematurely from Chernobyl, from their radioactivity, from damage to their heart, birth defects, from thyroid cancer, from lung cancer. They had 700,000 liquidators that came to try to put out the fire and take care of the radiation, and then most of them are the casualties that we're talking about, but then contamination from eating the food, and now we know in, uh, from the clouds that have gone up from Fukushima that water in Massachusetts has increased radioactivity levels. The milk in, in Pennsylvania and Washington uh, it has increased levels of radioactivity. And um, we also know that the reactor number four, which was uncovered for about a week, had a, probably had a fuel pool fire. And it's, it's so hot now that it's over 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, that's, which is higher than the melting point and the boiling point of lead, which we use for shielding. And we know that all the radionuclides probably came out of there. They found plutonium on the ground. They found another element called cerium on the ground. And if it's on the ground, plutonium, you know it can go into the air. And it can drift around the planet. It can cause lung cancer. Just a microgram is enough to cause lung cancer. That's a millionth of a gram. There's 454 grams in a pound. So a pound of plutonium, the most toxic element known to man, that's created in a nuclear power plant, 400 to 1,000 pounds in a nuclear power plant, when only 20 pounds could cause lung cancer, theoretically, and every human being on Earth, if the particles were vaporized in a fire, for example. At Brookhaven National Labs in Long Island, in 1997, they did a study, and they said that a fuel pool fire could induce 137,000 cancers, lung cancers. So there's more proof for you. And um, that study that I told you about, that agreement that I told you about between the World Health Organization and the Atomic Energy uh, Agency, the International Atomic, Agency, uh, International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, made in 1959, is the WHA 1240. That's the agreement where they say that they, both parties have to approve any statements made or studies to be done before they can be done or reported. So maybe that's why the big organizations in the UN are saying there's so few people that died from Chernobyl, like 45 or some ridiculous numbers like that, 4,000. 
and uh, but it's really about a million. Okay, and then the other. Let's talk a little bit about um, the Yucca Mountain now. When Bill Clinton was president, he decided he'd want to do this sh these shipments of high-level radioactive waste to Yucca Mountain in Nevada because these high-level radioactive waste shipments are so toxic that if they have a spill or an accident, if you stand uh, three feet in front of the spill, for example, the truck turned over and a you know, little kid drives out uh, on his bike or her bike and then she sees something or somebody or was hunting or something and they could walk over to this Good Samaritans, in 10 seconds you get a fatal dose. We know at Fukushima, for example, right now, 500 rems is a fatal dose and or 5,000 millisieverts. And we know that the, that hot radioactive water at Fukushima right now is emanating about that much uh, uh, from probably from fuel pool uh, number four, reactor number four. But the other three, by the way, one, two, and three are melting down. The cores are melting down. About 70% of the cores are, are melting down. And that makes the, the really hot water come out the bottom because it's leaking out of the bottom of probably of some of these reactors. We don't really know which ones yet because it's so hot people can't work there because uh, they can't get exposed to that or they'll die. And it's, it's not good. And that already happened to Chernobyl. Okay, so Yucca Mountain. So th 33 earthquake faults, 600 earthquakes between 1976 and the 1990s, measuring 2.5 or greater on the Richter scale. The Fukushima earthquake was a 9.0 on the Richter scale. And it would take 20,000 to 70,000 shipments of the high-level waste from all the nuclear reactors uh, to empty the fuel pools and get all the nuclear waste out to Yucca Mountain. But that would fill up Yucca Mountain, and if we build any more nuclear reactors, we'd have to find another site anyway. So President Obama, that was one of his campaign promises that he did fulfill. He decided, nope, no, Yucca Mountain, we're not going to use it. But now they're trying to raise the specter of what to do, because we have all these fuel pools that are full of radioactive waste. Now, the casks for these shipments, it's very important to know this. Uh, for example, on trains and barges, the casks will have 200 times the long-lived radioactivity of the atomic bomb that hit Hiroshima to end World War II. And the truck casks will have 40 times the long-lived radioactivity of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. The casks were tested, the train casks were tested to burn at 4 1,475 degrees Fahrenheit for half an hour. But a train fire it's diesel fuel. Diesel fuel burns at 1,800, not 1,475. And they don't burn for half an hour. Those things burn for days. You've seen pictures of that. And trains sometimes take three miles to stop if something happens. So that could be a disaster. Actually, the nuclear monitor of March 17, 2006, number 643, said, release of even a fraction of this cargo of these casks would spell unprecedented radiological disaster. So uh, we're seeing all these things now we're about nuclear power and what's going on. And uh, also, they're allowing 200 milligrams per hour on the surface of the casks to be uh, emitted. That's the dose you get in a year for background radiation. And then the workers, uh, some of them are getting 500 rems in, a, in an hour uh, out from that radioactive water. Remember the guys that got burned? They got between 2.5 and 6 uh, rem, uh, 6 sieverts, which is about 250 to 600 rems exposure when they got their legs burned and they went into the hospital. So you don't always hear about all these things, but you're hearing them here. This is Conrad Miller. Uh, this is April 2nd, 2011. So remember the particles are drifting in the air. They come down here. They're in Massachusetts. They're in Washington State, then they're in Pennsylvania so far. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can get everything under control in Fukushima, but don't bet on it.